Hello, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at some more really cool community creations. So here in front of us, we have the Huggins Heavy Transport Hauler, and on the right over here, we have the Hellhammer Main Battle Tank. Now, these have both been created by Constanty and Primo Super 2, and I have to say, these are really greatly detailed vehicles. And that's quite apparent. If you look at any other work that these creators make, the detailing is absolutely outstanding. So we're going to start with the tank. We'll work our way around that. And since these are smaller creations, I've combined these two together. But they do require some mods. They're not completely vanilla, so I will warn you there. So looking at the tank, we are using some of AWG's tank or convenient weapons pack. So we've got stuff like the sights that are mounted on here. They, they are really cool, the AWG weapons. They do have some issues in multiplayer when I last tested them. But apart from that, they are really nice, especially in these sort of sculpting type builds where you're crafting a fine vehicle like this. We've got a 130 millimeter cannon. We've got a 30 millimeter chain gun on the turret there. So if we actually have a look around here, you can see how the turret is sloped back. The slabs of armor are increased on that. You've got the barrel tucked in there as well as a remote control block. And as you look down the side, you've got the sighting system, some more of these detailing blocks here. We've also got the commander's hatch over here on the side that if we want to, we can enter inside and you'll actually see a detailed turret basket in here so you can see there's a little view slot through there there's two seats you've got a loader and a gunner's seat and over here you've got access into the front compartment of the tank it's really nice having a tank that's actually got a, a basket in like this it really kind of makes it a lot more realistic you can see it's mounted onto a rotor down there as well so in here we've just got some lcd screens and these are just seats so they can control the systems from in here if you do want to so moving back up onto the turret, away from the hatch and down to the main hull, we'll start at the rear. We've got these two large gas can sort of barrels on the back here. We've got the engine that is exposed here at the back. Now, I don't believe this is the real engine. The, the real engine is actually tucked here inside using batteries and some blocks as well. And since it uses a script to aim and move the turret with the mouse, it's all going to be tucked inside there as well. And of course, we've got the engine deck with the turbine type fans on the top there and a bit of this mesh grating and a little hatch for the nuclear reactor if you do wish to feed it from there as well. Working away down the side of the tank, we've got these cool little stowage sort of baskets here on the side. We've got some footsteps so you can climb up. We've got the wheels from the mod pack all tightly packed together. Sadly, working tracks is still quite a far way off. We've, we've tested them before in AWG's mod pack, but they, they're still need a lot of work and maybe with the updated collisions that we've seen in recent updates the tracks might work a little smoother so working our way far around the front you'll notice there's a hatch right there and if i pop my character here in front of us we're going to climb aboard so climbing aboard and finding that little seat there we're going to jump ourselves in the driver's seat and then we are going to close the hatch. So actually, this is the hatch view here from the front. The actual hatch view is the direction of the little cupola there on top as well. So what we're going to have to do is activate the remote control block. Of course, we've got actions such as the cupola view slot. We've also got the cupola lower up and down. So we can lower that up and down. And when it's lowered in the hull, we can view through the front slot perfectly like that. Let's get this thing moving. We've got some targets out there to actually shoot at as well. But first, let's just see how mobile this guy is. So we can lock the turret out by pressing um, number five if we want to, or rerun the script, and we can fully traverse up and down. And what will be interesting to see is if we move over this, just how well it stabilizes the gun. Yeah, it's, it's, not, got, it's not got too much of a bad stabilization. Of course, I always feel in Space Engineers, wheels need some serious love. We have done a mod on the LSG quality of life pack that fixes wheels a little bit better, but it's only for the larger pack. But you can see a tank of this scale should easily be able to climb something like this. But we're just getting a lot of friction, a lot of grip like that, a lot of wheel spin. But we're, we are over the obstacle. Let's try engaging some of these targets. So we're going to have a look through the viewfinder. This is aiming right down the barrel of the main gun. We're going to select the main gun. Laser is on target, and we're going to let a shot off. Oh, absolutely destroyed the turret of that tank. So let's do one from third person. We'll bring it on over. We'll put the laser on the target like so. Let's get ourselves in a nice viewing position to see this thing go down range. Let's fire a shot off. Here we go. Oh, lovely. Let's realign our targets back to F9. Let's try putting it one on that distant target. Maybe even use the range finder here. So this is part of the AWG mod as well. We've covered this in the past. We've got that on target. Let's go back to F8. 
We'll cover a longer shot. Oh, look at the velocity of that gun. It's great. The reload is a, is a little bit longer, but it's kind of the amount you'd see in a main battle tank. So it is pretty well balanced. You've obviously got the chain gun on the roof. That fires a singular shot for some reason. I'm not too sure why that isn't functioning. But let's try firing one on the move as well, just to see how stable this sort of setup is. So we've got a barrel. We can get. Oh, we can engage on the move with no problems at all here. Yeah, let's just roll that back around. And if we do want to close the upper hatch, we can do as well with number nine. You can see the commander's hatch up on the top deck. Very, very cool indeed. Loads of cool features. We've also got the antennas there. But I just like how stable this tank is. Only if the wheels offered a little bit more functionality, it'd be even cooler. But what we will try is we'll bring this around the back of this transport vehicle and we'll see if we can load this tank on in a moment. But we'll do a quick tour of the transport vehicle first. So we'll get into a position about here. We'll part that up. We'll put the brake on if we can. Brake is on. Okay and we'll eject ourselves from the vehicle. So over to the Huggins transport vehicle. What exactly does this one offer? So we've got a six wheeled truck design at the front with a very space age sort of stealthy cab. Just look how this kind of hovers over the front end. You've got this lower bumper and you've got this gap underneath. So we'll actually have a look at the detail a little bit further here. We've got these little mirror type displays over there, just creating a little bit of detail. We've got these large LCD lights. We've got the lighting down on the bumper bar here itself. Now I believe these bumpers, these look like they were some sort of piston component, but I think it's a tank component from the AWG pack. As we work along the side, we've got some of these armor detail segments. We've got the button that lowers this access door on the side that I'll show you in a moment, and it is really damn cool. As we work around the back, we've got the, the fake smokestack that is made of the iron thruster, and we've got a little bit of an engine deck here powering away. Just look how cool this looks. Some of the detailing going on in these lower sections. I think these are just space balls, but it really gives you a feeling that there's some sort of engine at work underneath there. A really cool ship or well, truck design, not a ship exactly. It looks like a ship. It could, you know, if you took the wheels off that, it'd be a cool little ship even in itself. You've obviously got a cupola up here as well, so you can drive this thing. All it's missing is a little bit of a turret maybe to protect it as you're driving and transporting your vehicles about. So coming to the back here, we have the trailer hitch. That has been made out, I believe, of some connector type blocks here. We've got a rotor down in the lower section, an advanced rotor, and this comes across using some more tank components to the trailer deck itself. Now, coming down to the trailer, we've got the six wheels at the back and we've got the four wheels at the front. We've got a ladder for access if we need to. We've got all these cool little storage and sort of detailing type compartments. And this trailer looks like it's quite heavy duty reinforced, so it's not going to snap on you if um, you load something a little bit too heavy. That's always good to hear. Now, working our way around to the back, we've got these little trailer parts on a hinge. Now, these are ramps to get inside. And coming down a little bit lower, we've got the button and we've got some rear tail lights. So bringing my character over here, let's lower these ramps down. So, so ramps are now lowered down. What's the chance of me getting this thing back up? Oh, damn it, Aaron. You, you closed the hatch, didn't you? There we go. Open the hatch back up. Get ourselves back in the chair. I thought it was going to be locked out of the tank then. So let's move this up the ramp. We're going to have to line it up quite perfectly. Make sure we take remote control. Remote control has been taken. We're going to line this up well. Hope all the brakes are on the other thing. And I, I think to make it up this ramp, we're going to have to give it some speed. Oh, this is classic Space Engineers clank. Okay, we're not lined up correctly. Let's bring it back a little bit. Turn it to the left and give it full speed and just see how we do. There we go. Oh, look at that. Come on, come on, tank. Okay, we need to give it a little bit more power. I think we need a little bit more of a line up on the left like this. A little bit more power and we'll be aboard on this run. So there we go. Oh, no, we've broken something. Hopefully it's not anything important. Oof, we're aboard. So let's move the tank further forward and make sure it's centered. Oh, don't slide off now. God, I'm going to look like one of these tank fail videos where the tank slides off the side. So yeah, we've damaged the front left-hand side of the tank and, it, and we're kind of falling off to one side. So that isn't particularly good. It isn't stable. Not what I'd recommend. Oh, come on. Don't fall off now. Oh, right. We're gonna, we may have to do some fi uh, fixing here. <laughs> okay, we've rolled the tank over. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> It never goes right on a video. I tested this out before. I literally went up in the first run. So we'll bring the tank back over. We'll line it up the best we can. And we'll try and get ourselves up one last time. Hopefully we've not broken anything crucial in that loading time. So bringing the tank back. 
There we go. Let our wheels get turning. Perfect. Line ourselves up. Not too much gas. Just enough. Try not to break them hinges. We don't want to do any of that. And there we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Up we go. Oh, not enough power again. Reverse it back up. Oh, I'm breaking more of this tank. It's not. They're not going to be happy with me. There we go. Let's try and get up at some speed. This is what I mean, though, about wheels in space engineers. I just feel they need a little bit more of a setting to adjust. Yep, we're sliding off again. I think that's the best we're going to do um, in this situation. So let's lock our wheels. It's not really on there. It's not really stable. I'm just hoping it, it stays on. If there was some sort of winch or some sort of magnetic deck lock that we could use to secure it into position, that would be awesome. What are these? Are these magnetic locks of any kind? I'm just trying to work out if there's anything that I could use to secure it, perhaps. Let me just see that. So that's just a trailer button. Okay. Right. We'll go to the vehicle itself. So hitting this bus button up here, we access the truck. The ramp lowers down. Lovely. We open the little door and we head on inside. Just try not to trap yourself in the door like I've done. We'll crouch down for better access. And then we enter into the truck. So that's the top hatch cupola. That falls to the side. And then we have the two seats. Oh, if you're not too careful, you'll pop out because it's a tiny cabin. So we'll do all that again. We'll pop ourselves through the door. Access the seat. Okay, lovely. We have some sort of control. So we've got the side door ramp down. Let's um, check our hinges. So we've got number seven. Let's, that is doing the reverse door and number eight. So eight and seven. We need to reverse them up and move them into position. Take off the parking brake and let's get this thing moving. Okay, so that tank is on there. Not super secure, but let's let's go over some obstacles and see what happens. So we'll see how well developed this trailer is. Oh, there we go. That hitch is working really well. We're not catching too much in the middle. Oh, no. We might have bogged down. Yeah, that low, low area in the middle there could cause some problems if you're doing some rigorous terrain testing. Let's just check. So we've got the advanced coupler on. We've got all the settings. I think we've got the settings good. Let's um, attempt to change number three. That that should allow us to do some sharper turns with the truck, I believe. So we're coming up to another ramp here. Ooh, bit of a jump there. Trailer's coming over. Ooh, middle bit's being stuck. Tank's still on, though. I'm still surprised about that. Let's see how much maneuverability we've got. We've got some obstacles here. No, we can actually drive pretty well, and the tank's actually staying on. We're up to 20 metres a second now, and we seem to be moving around quite stably. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of air on the front wheels there. Maybe I'm taking the corner a little bit too hard. I'm not looking forward to unloading this tank off the back. So we'll um, attempt one of these speed bumps, so to say, at um, around 20, maybe 17 or a little bit lower. Come on. Oof. Yeah, that was a little bit too hard. We've broken the, the lower end, and... If, if I look down, my legs are hanging out the cabin. Oh, these are lovely creations. I recommend that you check these out on the workshop for yourself and see what they're capable. They'll give you some great inspiration for building your own things as well. You can see we've got the lovely grey with that little red stripe of detail. A really cool design. There'll be a link down to it in the description below. And hopefully you don't break it as much as I do. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.